I'm looking for Mrs. Petrus. Are you Mrs. Petrus? Oh, you must be Edna. Can I tempt you with a cup of coffee? Oh, no, I... I warn you, it's strong, thick like mud. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm fine, thanks. Uh, <laughs> Voss uh, gave me some rather confusing Bayman things. first. Oh, yeah, of course. You know how difficult it is to get a wolf's shoulder blade? I'm glad I do, Missy. Did you kill the animal yourself? <laughs> yeah. Hi. Flustering when I look at you. Payment received. Now, on to your issue. Oh, well, you see, I'm blocked. My second book is a year overdue, and I've already burned through the advance. I told the publisher that it's right around the corner, but the truth is, I haven't written a word. Yes, yes, you seek one of the Nine Sisters. Tell me, what do you write? Calliope here will help you if you're a poet, as will Dorato or Euterpe. Euterpe will also help if you write songs, as will Polyhymnia. I, I write contemporary drama, or at least I'm supposed to. <laughs> into your veins, your book will come. Drugs, really? I can get drugs from the 14-year-old next door. <laughs> Not drugs, Edna. So much, much more. One has been paid for. Melpomene, let me have it. I know what you're thinking, kid. You're thinking, I've clearly done it wrong. I felt the same when I took Melpomene for the first time. She eventually arrives, but never as you'd like her to. Okay, so this is how it works then. And you are... Oh, damn rude of me. Ernest Hemingway, deceased. Virginia Woolf, at your service. Will Shakespeare, both deceased and at your service. Oh my god, are you gonna help me with my novel? Uh, not exactly, kid. The way I see it, you haven't got a second one in you. <laughs> we can't beat one into you. <laughs> Though I might be quick to add, all is not lost. A solution has come to us. It's an old idea. All ideas are old ideas. Right. Look, Eddie, you're going about this whole second novel thing entirely the wrong way. What you need to find is greatness. Have you achieved greatness yet? Well, I may... No! The answer is no. I've read your book. It's a fine book because it's a true book. What you need to do is make sure it's remembered as a great book. But how can I possibly do that without writing another one? I need Melpomene to help me. That glorious muse cannot plant seeds in your mind, friend. What it does is deliver revelations. The course is surprisingly simple in thought and deed. Your book will be sought after. Its second run will sell out, if that's the kind of crap you care about. But I haven't written a word in so long. You don't write a word, Eddie. You have to kill yourself. I had a choice. A choice between comedy and tragedy. I could be here cracking jokes with Mark Twain and Moliere. But no, in my infinite stupidity, I chose tragedy. This is a fine suicide note, Edna. It's to the point. Tell us the truth and even hints at deeper thoughts. That 
Hunter S. Thompson fellow wrote a good suicide note, didn't he? <laughs> Not as good as yours, my dear. Listen, I'm not so sure about this anymore. I knew it. This is a bad idea. You're always going to have second thoughts. You should have done what I did. I took my favorite shotgun, a long barrel side-by-side -side that I once used to kill a charging lion. I put it in my mouth, and I pulled the trigger. I found drowning quite peaceful. I was drawn to the water. It was almost as though I could not have backed out if I had wanted. Well, don't look at me. I didn't kill myself. Though if pressed, I imagine I would have favored a poison of some sort. All fine ideas, I suppose. Listen, maybe a rethink is in order, maybe... Damn it, Eddie, just do it. You're a hack, don't you see? Your first book ain't worth a damn. This is your only chance at redemption. No one thinks of legacy anymore. You're different, I can tell. You care about the future. Dear Edna, don't you see? Well, death comes for all of us, but in this, he is coming on your terms. In this act, you will become the Lord of Death. Well, I... I guess I'm not really leaving anything behind, but mediocrity. signing and I just thought maybe well, I guess I was just hoping for some answers I don't buy that it was just a hallucination it was real I'm convinced it was real <laughs> you realize you, you're talking to a guy who's been dead for 50 odd years you may not be such an authority on what's real I guess I'm just worried again what if I can't write anything without Malpomene <laughs> You're asking the wrong question, kid. If you're so convinced that what happened there was real, then what the hell makes you think you survived it? anymore. You should have done what I did. I took my long barrel shotgun. I found drowning quite peaceful. I was drawn to the water. Hemingway would make a pressure. I didn't kill myself. Though if pressured, I imagine I would have preferred a poison of some sort. <laughs> All fine options, I suppose. <laughs> All fine ideas, I suppose. But, uh, uh, listen, maybe a rethink is in order. Maybe I ought to, um... Damn it, Anna, just do it! <laughs> well, I... I suppose I'm not leaving anything behind but mediocrity. So I might as well stab myself with this big bloody knife. <laughs> <laughs>